Well, hello everybody. This is Ria with Posh Plum Plans. And today I am coming at you with a video on how I organize my Happy Planner sticker books. Now I like to take a few books at a time and put them on the Happy Planner rings. I've got a couple here. This one's finished. I've got four books on this one and I've used, of course, the expander rings. Now it makes it kind of tight, but it does fit four books. And this one here, I only have two books on here. So this is the one I'm going to uh, show you for today because I've got a couple books I need to put on that one. So first thing I like to start off with is some scrapbook paper that I don't really need anymore. Um, this is a cute design, but I couldn't really find a use for it. So I am going to measure out a exactly what I need and it's going to be just shy of nine inches so it's actually a sixteenth of an inch shy of nine inches and two inch strips so my scrapbook paper is 12 by 12 so I can get about seven of these strips that one's extra <laughs> seven of these strips on here um, in one 12 by 12 paper. So I'm just gonna measure that out. That little mark right there was just shy of nine inches. And I'm gonna cut that once I get it centered here. Now there is my nine inch strip or just shy of nine inch strip. And it's by two inches. So I'm gonna take the rest of this paper here and I'm gonna cut in two inch strips. And that is gonna be what you secure each of your sticker pages to. So I've got a couple of them going here. Like I said, I can get seven out of one strip here and there's just a little bit extra on that last one. You can make it two inches, you can make it four inches, however thick you want this paper. Um, I'll show you what you do with it in just a few minutes. But once you've got these down here, yep, seven. Once you've got them out and finished cutting, then you can go ahead and punch them in your happy planner punch so with a magic of tv i've got all of the ones that i need here i'm putting two sticker books in and that means that there are 30 pages in a book so i need 15 of those strips for each book does that make sense okay demolition time so take your books and the first thing you want to do is decide if you want to keep the cover i like keeping the covers because i like to know what sticker comes from what book a lot of other people organize theirs kind of by function so like deco stickers or bill pay stickers functional stickers you know you can decorate these i'm sorry you can organize these books however you want um, but me personally i like to keep the books together just because that's how it's easiest for my brain. So that's why I always opt to keep the cover in. So you can keep it or you can pitch it, whatever you want to do. I tend to not use the back, that's kind of extra. Um, that's up to you if you want to, but I only use the front and then the sticker pages. So what I'm going to do here is take the cover off of one that I already have done and I'm just going to kind of measure how far that gap is between the end of the paper and where I actually started my page. So it could be about, I don't know, it's maybe half an inch, maybe a little bit more, but since I already had it done, I was just going to um, mark that off and you can make it however far or close to the, the hole punch as you want. So I think mine is about three quarters of an inch if I'm remembering correctly. And then I'm just gonna use some Elmer's Craft Bond. You can use hot glue if you want to, you can use glue tape, um, whatever you wanna use, but I find that this is just really easy and it was close to me. <laughs> so that's why I grabbed the Elmer's Craft Bond. All of the supplies that I'm using are gonna be linked in the description box below just in case you want to pick any of this up for yourself. I'm a big Amazon shopper, so most of it's gonna be Amazon links. Okay, so that is first page done. Now I don't put a sticker page on the back of mine. I leave it blank and then all the sticker pages are double-sided. So my first one, my cover sheet is done. If you want to decorate the inside of that cover page, you can, but I'm just gonna flip it to the back here. And then I use these little page flags to mark the beginning of the books. So I also, on the pink one that you can see up here in the upper left-hand corner, I've actually handwritten in very messy handwriting what uh, sticker books they are. So you can do that too. And then I'm just gonna measure out a quick little line put some craft bond on the first sticker page and then get it glued down. So you just continue to do this process for all of the sticker pages. Yep, about three quarters of an inch. 
just make a little mark so that they're pretty much even. Again, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Well, at least mine doesn't have to be perfect. Maybe yours does, and that's totally okay. Come on, big head, <laughs> get out of the way. Maybe yours has to be perfect and that's totally okay, but mine doesn't have to be exactly perfect. Okay, I take that back, maybe it does. <laughs> so once you get it as close as you want it to be, I'm just kind of measuring out, oh, I remember what happened. I had a little issue here because I think the first page um, wasn't quite flush or level or it was kind of glued on at an angle. That's what it was. So I wanted to um, just kind of perfect that a little bit. That would have actually uh, harmed the integrity of the book and it would have made it hard to flip that page. So that's probably why I fixed that. And then just a little bit of glue on the inside of the pages just to glue the pages together so that they're much easier to flip. And then you go ahead and get that in your book and that's basically it guys let me get this cover out of the way oh i think i realized i put those sheets behind the wrong cover i think i fix it a little bit later but i'll show you again just measuring out three quarters of an inch and then take your craft bond or whatever type of glue you want to use put it on there line it up and that's basically it front and back of the page and I think from this point, like once you get the first one done, the one on the back, you don't have to mark. You just kind of tap the two pages together, get them flush on one end, put the glue on there. And then that's how I did it from then on. I think I only marked maybe the front ones and then the back ones are a lot easier. The back side of the page is a lot easier to put in there. So there you go, there's two pages already done. I know I've sped up this video, but it is pretty quick. Oh man, one of my pages totally fell apart. I forgot about that. <laughs> so sometimes that happens if the glue that you use isn't good enough. And this is an old version, so I used to use full sheets of paper. Uh, full sheets of scrapbook paper to do this you totally can but I felt like it was just a little bit too wasteful and I it took way more scrapbook pages than I wanted to use so then I switched over to the method of just doing two inch strips but you can totally do the entire page if you want to do it that way that's just a different method um, and it does make it a little bit easier when it comes to lining up the pages there's a little bit less measuring that way but two different options for you so there's the cover and I realized I put the stickers behind the wrong cover which totally defeats the purpose. So let's get these bad boys back behind the cover where they belong. And there we go. So there's that color story and I've got a couple pages. So basically from here on out you continue with the rest of the pages. And that is how you do it. I know you don't wanna sit here and watch me do all 30 pages of this. So I'm just gonna move some items around here on the screen and kind of get my thumbnail together. I don't know if you guys ever like to watch people get their YouTube thumbnails all situated, but I love to watch that. So I'm just gonna include that in here, I'm moving a couple items around just to make sure that I like the way it looks for YouTube. And there you go, there's the final product and that is the thumbnail I decided on. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.